Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalrin, and in this video I'm going to showcase you just how broken the patch 715 is. Now every single patch that comes out in the game is not the greatest patch ever, and some classes get screwed over. Like for example, Outlords apparently are viewed by most players as a spec that's kind of stuck dead in the water. But you do have some potential when you pair up with right friends, especially if they're a Fury Warrior variety or a K-Mages, or basically anything that has massive burst potential. So. When you play together with your melee friends or caster friends, especially in 2v2, you're able to pull off massive bursts and provide support for your friend in order to get some crazy hilarious one-shots. And hopefully you guys will stick around through this video as I'll showcase you and explain you exactly what I do to accomplish these kind of lineups for my DPS partners. So how do you actually line this burst up? Well first of all you want to snag yourself Thick as Thieves, which allows your Tricks of Trade to be used on you and a friendly target, where you'll buff both of you by 15%. Now the damage buffs that you're given to yourself don't matter as much, but the damage buff you're given to your friendly target that has massive burst, that's where it really counts. Combine that with Plunder Armor, which also steals enemies' armor, reduces their damage by 20% and their health pool by 10%, increasing yours by the same values, you will basically make a target a little bit squishy in terms of the health pool, allowing your friendly targets to have an easier time one-shotting them. And what you're going to be doing for your rotation is open up with cheap shot, pop all your burst to cooldowns, pop your adrenaline rush, pop your artifact weapon, saber slash, and hold those full combo points. As soon as the enemy triggers the cheap shot, or as soon as there are some kind of defenses to get them out of a cheap shot, you would go into between the eyes. Now I know that this doesn't always work with classes like mages and paladins, so when you're going against those classes, you will have to get a little bit more creative. Make sure you strike hard and strike fast because usually after your very first attempt to score the kill, in most cases, most of your damage drops off until about a two minute cooldown mark so try to make sure to maximize the burst potential during your first opener for the kill Another thing I forgot to mention, the best way of going about this burst is when you're going against a double DPS or healer DPS, when you see enemies pop in burst, it is a pretty good idea to either fear them or blind them, so it's okay for some situations for Pilgrim to trinket and fear the enemy target. The trinket makes them think that here is the time for a kill, and the fact that they're CC'd on the burst cooldowns makes them feel that they don't want to waste them. So in most cases, enemies trinket and they die, mainly because there's not a lot they can do during the little window that we need in order to score a kill. It is such a small window for them to even react sometimes enemies can't even get a single polymorph in there so the reaction time is definitely going to be tested when you're running this kind of burst against certain enemies
I very much hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see more stuff like this, uh, let me know if you want to see more assassination bursts, maybe some more alpha bursts, maybe some crazy subtlety rogue build because I think this patch 715 is going to be an exciting patch and I can't wait to try some more things out. Thanks guys, I'll see all of you in the next one.